Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to a Minecraft tutorial on how to build a skyscraper or apartment building. Now this build features five floors, four of them with 360 view balconies. There is also an awesome water feature and on the inside, a cozy reception room and four awesome apartments for you guys to live in. If you do enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe with notifications on and leave a like on this video. Before we start placing blocks, I will put the materials you will need on the screen now. I know you guys love it. It helps you a lot. Thank me later thank me later and you will also be needing a 19 by 17 size plot to actually fit this apartment building inside of now the first materials we're going to be using are some orange concrete some light gray concrete and some white concrete now as you can see i've kind of marked out where everything needs to go and this blue line here is 19 blocks wide and this line along the side is 17 blocks wide. So hopefully, if you actually do build this box, you'll be able to build block by block with me. So first things first, we're going to place our first block with orange concrete. Bam. This is actually going to be a corner block. We're going to work on the front first. So we're going to place one block to the left, jump one and two blocks, and place one and two more of orange concrete just like this. We can then actually turn this to the right. Bam. So you should have this little L shape on the corner. Now we're going to go to our right side of our first block and place one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Finishing on the seventh block, this is what we should have from the top. Okay, turning one more block, we're placing one. Jump one, two blocks and place one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven blocks of orange concrete, just like this. Turning once more, placing one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and this block here should actually line up with the first block we placed turning once again so we're on the front line of our build placing one more okay and you should have three blocks in between this orange concrete block here and this concrete block just here now we do have a few more orange concrete blocks to place on the end of this little upside down l shape we're going to be jumping one and placing one two leave another block and place one connecting to this back block. Now in the center here, we're gonna jump one, two away and place one, two, three, and four. If I fly up, you guys should be able to see and you should have this on your screens. Okay, so now we're gonna be grabbing our light gray concrete. I'm gonna be jumping to the front of our build. We're gonna be counting one, two, three, four, five, and six. And on the seventh block, we're gonna place a light gray concrete and it should be one block diagonal from this orange concrete block just here. We're going to bring this out forwards one and two more making it three in length we're then going to turn it to one and two blocks going to the left and turn it back in another one two blocks making this side also three in length and we should have this shape from the top now finally we can grab our white concrete okay and now from our gray concrete block let's jump one and two and place two blocks of white concrete like this leaving two blocks in between these two colors on the front of this we're going to place two more white concrete blocks and on the back another two more so one and two and you should have six in total on the end of the build now from the back block of the white concrete we're going to jump one block and place one we're then going to jump two blocks and place another one jump one block and place one two and three and on front of this another one two and three making another six on this side and it should be completely symmetrical to the front of our build looking something like this we have one more white column to place, and this is on the opposite corner to the one we just placed, okay? Now, one block diagonal from the orange concrete, we're going to place one, two, three, and four blocks of white concrete, looking like this from above. And that is it, guys. That is actually the foundation for this build done. Pretty simple, but trust me, it's going to turn into something pretty amazing. Now, we need to start raising these blocks in height. First, we're going to use our orange concrete, and we're going to be raising these blocks by 18 blocks in total, making the orange concrete 19 blocks in height. Okay, so we are finished with taking up the orange concrete and as I said it should all be 19 blocks in height now to take up our white concrete blocks and we're going to be bringing these to exactly the same height as the orange concrete so we're going to be taking them up 18 more blocks making them 19 blocks in height. <music> Okay, so our white concrete has been brought up to the same height as our orange concrete. 
Now to raise our grey concrete, okay? But this is a little bit different. We're going to be taking this block up 21 blocks, making it 22 in height, okay? So it should be around 3 blocks higher than the orange and white concrete. Now, at the top of our grey concrete, we can actually close this off with two blocks and also fill in one, two, three, four blocks just like this. You should have this block all the way up, completely filled in, creating a solid cube of three by three on top of the grey. Okay, so now all our blocks are raised to the correct height they need to be. We're going to grab our white concrete blocks and we're going to jump to our first two block entrance at the front of our build. And we're going to jump up one, two, three, and on the fourth block, place two white concrete going along the tops like this and we're going to repeat this every three blocks up until the top of our build once you get to the top you're going to place nothing because of course there is three blocks and the roof will go on top we can also go to the back section of our build and do exactly the same on the back now we are ready to start placing in some floors now these white concrete blocks actually mark out the level where our floors will actually go so i'm going to fill in the first floor and show you exactly what you need to do so placing white concrete all the way connecting both sides but what i will say is we're leaving this space empty here apart from this first block in the door entrance okay so you should have one two three four eight blocks completely empty on each floor going all the way up because this will be the space for our staircase okay as for this little side entrance here this will all be filled in with white concrete okay so for every floor you'll be filling this space in and uh, this is probably going to be the bedroom on each floor but for now we can continue this all the way up until we have reached the top <music> Okay, so our floors are completely placed in. Like I said, you should have exactly the same thing on each floor, which makes it super, super simple and means you guys can't really get confused when placing these. Okay, so next we're going to grab our quartz stairs and we're actually going to be placing these on the third block up on each two block wide open section at the front of our build underneath the two blocks of white concrete. One, two, and at the top, one, two to finish this off. We're going to do exactly the same on the back. These are actually going to be the top of our doors, okay? So adding upside down quartz stairs really do add for some depth in the build. Next on the agenda is to start adding in our balconies. And for this, we're going to be placing one and two white concrete blocks in front of our door entrances, okay? So you should have four blocks coming out. We're going to take this to the gray on the side and we're going to take this out to the right by one, two, three, and four blocks. And we can take this all the way back to our white concrete pillar on the other side of the apartment building. We can, of course, fill in this empty space behind this. You should have a two block wide balcony coming out from each side of your apartment building looking like this. We're going to do exactly the same all the way up to the top of our building. Okay, now on the back, we're going to pretty much be doing the same, but we're only going to be doing one row of white concrete along each side. So starting from the top, let's place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you should have 11 blocks in total. And let's do this in front of each and every doorway. Now for this back section, we're actually going to be grabbing ourselves some quartz slabs and placing them in front of the white concrete rows we have just placed as balconies. These will actually be the blocks that hold our glass panes on the back side of our apartment building. Now jumping back around to the front of the building, you notice we have this two block gap going all the way down our apartment building. We're actually be carrying on at this same balcony all the way through. Okay, so on the fourth block up, we should place one, two, three, four and carry this all the way up to the top. Absolutely perfect. Okie dokie, so so far your apartment building should be looking a little bit like this. Super nice looking, but we are without a roof. So that is next on the agenda guys, is to be placing ourselves a roof. Now, first off, we can actually start by placing white concrete blocks on top of all of our orange concrete uh, to kind of get an idea of what level our roof is going to be at. Our roof is gonna reside at one block above all the rest of our blocks, okay? And we're gonna bring it out one, two, and take this all the way around, okay? So the roof should actually follow the balconies. We're gonna take it until it goes all the way on top of each and every white concrete pillar around our build, all the way until we wrap it round the front of our build. It should join in the center of our three block wide gray concrete pillar. And from the top, we should have this. Now we can simply go ahead and fill in the gaps, okay? And we should have a completely flat white concrete roof above our apartment building. Hey, hey, hey now. So now it's looking a little more like an apartment building. Now we're gonna grab our white stained glass and simply place these on the last block of our balconies so you guys can't fall off because, you know, it's always nice to uh, be able to look off your balcony at the view but why would you want to be falling off doing so so we're going to add these glass barriers to prevent that and of course uh, most apartment buildings in real life do have these if they don't well then that's a safety hazard and you should probably 
Report that to someone now, huh? Um, so doing this for every single balcony and uh, it does look super nice with the white stained glass. As you can see, it just adds some very, very nice detailing to the build. We're going to do it on this side too. Even though we can't actually access this balcony, we kind of want to continue the pattern uh, into this section as well. So it all looks, you know, a little bit samey, samey. And, uh, you know, it all kind of corresponds to the rest of the build. Now on the back, it's a little different. We're going to be placing the glass on top of these slabs that we placed. Like I said, they were going to be holding our glass and uh, it's nice because there's only two blocks here and I thought adding the slabs did add a lot of depth to the back of the build, uh, you know, keeping it from being too flat and kind of, you know, blending in with the rest of the build. But once we have done that, guys, we're going to jump to this side of our building, the right side, where we should have an orange wall going all the way up the side of our apartments. Now, we're going to be jumping ourselves one, two, three blocks in and removing one and two blocks of orange concrete. You should then be left with three blocks on this side and we can do that on every single floor of our apartment building. So one, two, breaking them and one, two. You should have a total of one, two, three and four and five two block wide windows. We can go in and grab ourselves some awesome colored glass. I'm going to use blue. You guys can use whatever color that tickles your fancy. We're going to go all the way up and place these in. And uh, I think mixing the blue glass with the white glass really does go well with this modern look. We can now move to the front of our building where we have ourselves our gray concrete column. In the center of this, we're going to jump one, two, three, four. And on the fifth block up, remove one, two, three, and do this every one block. So one, two, three, leave a gap, one, two, three, one block gap and one, two, three, leaving yourselves one, two, three blocks of gray concrete at the top. And we can once again use our light blue glass to fill in these gaps and create some funky looking windows. Next up, we're going to be grabbing ourselves some birch wooden doors and some glass panes. OK, now starting on the bottom floor of our building, we're going to be jumping to the back of these two white blocks and placing one and two birch wood doors. Flickety flick these open and they look super nice. And now placing them on the back of the block actually creates this nice little slanted kind of design down because we've used these stairs on the top. Now, if we just go to this side in here, we're actually removing these two white stairs like this and placing one, two, three, four, five, and six glass panes like this, creating a very nice window for our reception area. Now, for every other single two block gap, we can start placing birch wood doors, okay? And this is gonna be exactly the same for every single floor. Okay, so no different. The only different floor will be the ground floor. You should have four doors on each and every single floor besides the ground floor. Once again, only the ground floor will be different. I'm going to keep saying it because some people, you know, just need that extra help so they don't get it wrong. Perfect. All of our doors should be in our building. And as you can see, it's coming together pretty darn nicely. Now it's time to head on the inside of our build and grab ourselves some oak wooden planks. Perfect. Now let's carve out this one, two, three four, five, and six blocks like this, leaving this nice gap for us to build a reception area. And of course, because we're not using this, we can actually replace these blocks in the ceiling. We're going to completely replace all the grass in here with oak wooden planks, okay? So diggity digging all this up, and uh, I've chosen oak planks just because I think they look uh, pretty nice. You don't have to use them. You could use birch, dark oak, spruce, jungle, acacia. It is absolutely up to you, but for the purpose of this tutorial, oak wood it is and uh you know it's a pretty good choice um it, it's pretty nice bright wood you know it's not as bright as birch not as dark as spruce but it does look very very nice indeed now as i mentioned earlier this is going to be the only room or only floor that's going to be different to the rest and for this we're going to need to take these orange blocks back a little bit so let's remove one two three four five and six just like this and then take this pillar back another one so one two and three so we should have one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks between the window and our first orange wall. Now, of course, it's going to leave some marks above, and we're just going to simply replace these with some white concrete. It will not affect the rest of the build, and of course, we can replace the rest of this grass with our uh, oak wooden planks or whatever plank you have chosen to use for this design. Okay, now I have some quartz stairs because now we're going to work on our staircase. So on our first block here, in line with this orange concrete block, we're going to place one quartz stair and one above the glowstone, which doesn't actually need to be there, but you know, it was there to admit some light. So one and two, just like this. We're then gonna be placing one white concrete block at the top of the stair and one next to it like so. We can then place a quartz stair going all the way up, which should take you to the exact same level as our white concrete floor. Place two concrete blocks in front of you just like this, giving you a little walkway and access to our first floor of the apartment building. Now, this pattern is going to be exactly the same all the way to the top. So two stairs, two concrete blocks. You're going to turn two stairs, 
and two concrete blocks. Now, if that ain't simple, I don't know what is. I tried to make the staircase design as simple as possible because I know some people build houses and the staircase is just so complex. It must be pretty hard for you guys to follow. I'm not gonna lie. Two white concrete blocks, two stairs, two concrete blocks, and you know, it's the same all the way up into the top, which I think is absolutely amazing. You know, you don't have to try really hard to get all your stairs in the right place. It's just the same all the way up to the top floor, which is technically the penthouse. Um, of course, we can then go all the way back down. And uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Hopefully you do think having a super simple staircase in this place uh, does help a lot. We could then actually grab ourselves, let's see, our orange concrete and place this here and fill in all the gaps like so. And what are you doing, buddy? God, I hate these little guys looking all angry and stuff, just hanging from the ceiling. I mean, they're kind of cute, but they're super annoying. Just always, 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 always interfering with me and uh, hiding in my little dark places in my house. And uh, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. So now we actually need to add some doorways to our rooms. I'm going to grab some birch doors. And for this first floor, upside down stair and a birch door on the back. Bam. Okay. On this entranceway here, we're going to place an upside down stair facing this side and a birch door on the back of this block, underneath the stair. So this will be a little door to maybe a bedroom, a living room, whatever you want to place. But of course, once again, we're going to do this for each and every floor. Okay, so upside down stair, a birch door. Upside down stair, to the birch door. Flick that open. Hopefully I don't get stuck in any of these rooms, that wouldn't be too good now. Upside down stair, with our door. Door on the back, let's mix it up a little bit. And our upside down stair. And I think that should be the second to last floor. This is the last floor. So, bam, upside down stair. With a birch door. And, of course, we can do the door and the stair going into our bedroom. Now, on the top here, we actually have this little section where you could potentially fall off and hurt yourself. So, I'm going to go in and grab ourselves a jungle trapdoor. And we're going to place a random block here. Our jungle trapdoor facing the white concrete. Flick that up. And, bam, we can place one under this. And you kind of have an awesome little stair banister that stops you from falling off the side. Unless you have auto jump on and then you're pretty doomed. You are going to fall straight to your death. Which no one wants. No one wants to die in Minecraft because we all want to survive and thrive. Um, so yeah, that is our staircase. What do you guys think? Try to make it as simple as possible for you so you would have no trouble following. We're going to be working on the outside now, boys and girls, with some quartz slabs, some stone bricks, and some oak leaves. First thing first, with our stone bricks, we're going to jump in front of our doorway and remove one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks and do exactly the same. So you will have removed 12 in total, replacing these blocks with these stone bricks. And this is kind of like the pathway that would probably lead to your main road or whatever is in front of your apartment building, right? With our quartz slabs, we're going to place one, two, three, four, five, and six directly next to our stone bricks, bringing them to the front, okay? We're then to the right, going to place one, two, three, and four and take it all the way back to behind our apartment building. So we should be placing these all the way down the side and they should end one block in front. It's a llama, it's a traveler, it's a traveler villager. He's come to see the apartment building in progress, I love it. Now we're gonna be placing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 blocks along the back. And we're pretty much gonna be taking this all the way to the front and joining it to our first row of quartz slabs along the front. And this just kind of frames the build, in my opinion. As you can see, the quartz just kind of goes all the way around, and we will have some greenery and stuffs at a later stage. Now with our oak leaves, we're going to be placing these one and two in our far corner between the grey concrete and the orange concrete, one block away from our door. And we're going to do this on each and every balcony, also adding a little, I don't know, bit of bush to each and every balcony. So one and two. And you're not going to be placing them on the roof. No need to worry about that. On the back of the build, on the other hand, we are going to be placing them along these balconies. So in this far corner here, we're going to be placing it one, two, three, four, five, six, and on the seventh block away from our window, one and two. And we're going to do this on every single floor. And the nice thing about the glass panes in front of the leaves is that nothing connects. As you can see, they kind of just sit there without anything connecting to our glass panes. And this is what we should have from the back of the build. Okay, now jumping round to this side of our build. We haven't really done much to this side, and it's the side with two white concrete pillars going all the way from the ground to the roof. We're going to grab ourselves some water buckets, some smooth quartz slabs, and some andesite, boys and girls. And with our quartz slabs, let's see, we're going to be placing one and two diagonal from the three block white concrete blocks just here. So you should have this going on. We're going to do exactly the same from this side, one and two, with two blocks in the middle. 
We're now going to be removing all of the grass inside of this area. So let's get rid of all of this. And you will then see uh, what's going to kind of go on with this build. We're now under these quartz blocks, going to place ourselves some white concrete. Like so. We're then going to grab our andesite, remove all the dirt from underneath this, and uh, fill that in with our andesite, okay? So if you didn't know what we're building, we are going to be building a fountain feature at the side of the building, which I think is pretty, um, and will look very, very nice indeed. So let us see here. Uh, if we fill the bottom of this with water, we should be able to kind of see what height we want to take the fountain to. Lovely, lovely stuff. So grabbing our smooth quartz slabs, we're going to jump one, two, three, and on the fourth block, we're going to place some quartz slabs just like this. Now on top of these, we are going to be placing water on the backs of the block so it falls all the way down, creating a lovely, lovely looking fountain. Now let's see here, we're going to jump one, two blocks and place one, two quartz slabs just like this. We can then jump one, two and three and on the fourth block up, place another and do this all the way up, okay, until we've reached the top of our build like so. At the sides of these, we're just going to place more quartz slabs on exactly the same level as the others in the center, and we should have a very, very nice little feature on the side of the build, which wasn't there before. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. I think it just adds a lot to this side, which was looking kind of bare. Now, do you know what time it is? It is a landscaping time. We're going to add some plants in a random order in all of our green areas inside of our quartz slab frame. Now, for this, I'm using a variety of things, some oak leaves, some spruce leaves, and all the plants of my choice. I absolutely love the white plants. I just something about them look super, super nice, especially mixed in with some reds and all the greens. Now, you're going to watch me. I'm going to place these very randomly around the entire build, and uh, you will start to see it take shape. I'm not trying to focus on placing them in any particular order because it kind of becomes a little bit too natural looking and that's what you don't want. You want this to look very, very natural, uh, less man-made because, you know, over time in real life, things do grow and uh, they don't always grow in pattern, which you will find. And doing this in Minecraft creates a lot of realism to your builds. What I also like to do is layer my plants up from the back. So I'll have the tallest plants at the front and they will kind of work their way towards the smaller plants uh, in front of these. So as you can see, we have the roses and the grass at the back, maybe a large fern of such. And then we can have the smaller plants at the front of these, okay? And I try not to have too many flowers next to each other because I feel like the color blends in a little too much and you don't want that. You see some orange tulips, maybe a white one just here and here, and a little blue plant just at the front, and the rest can be grass. So bam, 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 bam. And you can see it's looking pretty purdy. And we're going to do this for all of our grass sections, okay? So just making sure we're layering them properly and nicely, and you should have a very, very nice looking terraformed area. Bam, we are done with our plant placing for today. But what do you guys think? I think it looks super nice, adding some splash of colors to the bottom of the build, making it look not so urban and not so blocky. But now we're going to be moving on to a little bit of furniture on the inside of our build. Okie dokie, so the materials I've got as you can see are some smooth sandstone stairs, some birch trapdoors, some snow, white carpet, oak leaves, iron trapdoor, some stone batons, a uh, bookshelf, and a cool slab of course. So, we're going to be placing these bookshelves along the back wall, okay, all across the orange concrete. And you buddy, I'm going to let you stay there, you're going to guard this apartment building for the rest of your little life. Next to this, we're actually going to replace one, two, three grey concrete blocks just to kind of cover up the connected orange texture. And let's place some quartz uh, slabs in front of this. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so grabbing our snow blocks now on this concrete block, we place one, two, three, four, and five. And let's place a white carpet block so we can kind of see. So let's see, six and seven blocks of snow underneath a carpet. We're then going to take this along three more blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All the way along to your heart's content. You should have one block gap in between this and the wall. White carpet along the tops of all of these, and let's connect an iron trapdoor in the center with a stone button on top so we can actually enter to behind the reception desk. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now we're going to place ourselves some iron trapdoors for some little filing shelves just in this little corner just here. Now let's place some leaves next to the desk. Perfect. You can kind of imagine a little villager behind here asking you if you need any help with your day and, uh, you know, booking yourselves a room in this place. Um, let's grab ourselves some smooth sandstone stair and place one, turn it two, and let's do this on the other side, one, turn it two, and on the sides of these, we can flick up some birch trapdoors, giving us a little something like this. And do we want to place a carpet? I mean, we could do. Let's grab ourselves some, some light gray carpet, maybe, and place one, two, and three in the center, just like this. I absolutely love it. Okay, on this wall here, let's place four blocks with a one block gap in the middle and find ourselves a painting. 
There we go. We can place that in there. That one doesn't actually look too shabby now, does it? Perfect. As for lighting, let's grab ourselves some emeralds. Okay, okay. And we can also grab ourselves a wither skeleton skull. I know, spooky stuff. Um, let's see here. We can place one and two of these. And we kind of need to get on top of these. So we're going to remove some blocks above and place a skeleton skull going into the wall. Replace these blocks above. Remove the two blocks below the skull and place two emeralds. And we have this going on. It looks like a very nice lampshade in my opinion. It brightens up the room a treat, giving you a lot of vision in here that you didn't have before. It actually makes all the colors pop, which I also think is super, super nice. Now I know some of you are going to want some ideas for furnishing the apartments themselves. I have myself designed the first apartment. I have not done any of the other floors, but this is kind of a showcase to show you the possibilities on what you can fit into these pretty small apartment areas. Now, I've used spruce wood trapdoors to separate the rooms using very nice wall dividers. You don't have to place big, chunky one block walls and you can fit more furniture inside. Little lampshade with access to our second balcony at the back, looking over the lonesome little villager hut in the distance. Hello, buddy. Um, and then we have ourselves a kitchen. Small kitchen, but functional. We have ourselves a furnace with a cauldron, a uh, bit of water inside to represent a sink. Another wall divider on this side to separate into the living room. I've used a bed here with uh, a little sign on the side to kind of act as a sofa bed or a couch. If you do have someone else stay around, they can actually use this as their bed, which is pretty sweet. And then we have a TV here with a little plant pot. And again, access to our front balcony. Looking over, nothing. <laughs> um, inside, a door to our bedroom. We have a little bed with a desk area, a little laptop on there. I've used some snow to kind of act as a little cubby hole. Maybe a cute little reading area just there with another lamp and a painting on the wall. All very functional. We have our chest for storage. And then, of course, we have the furniture mixed in to kind of make the place look a little bit nicer. Um, they don't really serve much purpose, but, you know, no harm in doing that. I also added a lantern in the stairway to brighten it up and add some lighting. But that is it, guys, for this apartment building tutorial. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Hopefully you do have yourselves an amazing skyscraper or apartment building in Minecraft. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you so much for the support. Make sure to like this video, turn on notifications and subscribe to the channel so you are notified every time I upload a tutorial. Once again, thank you for the support. Have an amazing day. I love you all so much. Stay creative, stay positive, and I'll see you in my next Minecraft video. Bye guys.